Hello, I'm Judy, the organizer and creator at Rescue My Space. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, welcome. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you five common organizing myths that people typically fall prey to, but thankfully this is gonna be the last time you fall prey to this because this is not gonna be you. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So I come across a lot of people who think that organizing is this like unattainable thing. And sometimes because of the photos we see on Instagram, on Pinterest, we think that there's no way my home could ever look like this. There's no way I could ever do this to my home. So organizing starts to seem a bit far-fetched. It seems like it's not in our grasp. Like we are not someone who can be organized like that person, but you can because myth number one says you need to be born organized. That is false. Organizing is what got me out of a rut when I was growing up, but I wasn't born organized. Nobody's really born organized. You just develop the skill. I developed it early on in life. And then of course, within years, I honed into those skills. I practiced more and now I'm an expert in my field. I like to call myself that. And it's because I've practiced and practiced and practiced the skill for a long time. As many skills, organization is a skill that you can learn in time. It can be a skill you pick up instantly or a skill that takes time to learn, but nevertheless, is something that you learn you can learn yourself and be highly skilled at it and organize your space of course like a professional or even make it a profession so yes it is a skill you are not born organized myth number two is you need to own a lot of storage containers or organizing products to be organized that is false. <laughs> Honestly speaking someone who loves organizing products is saying this you don't need organizing products to be organized. You don't need them at all. Um, organizing products is an added bonus when it comes to organizing, but it has nothing to do with organizing. The first thing when it comes to organizing is to declutter. So you gotta get rid of stuff, especially if you're someone who owns too many things, therefore making it very difficult to organize. And number two, you have to create designated spaces. So once you create the designated spaces, you really don't need organizing products because you know where things are without the organizing products. Again, organizing products adds that extra oomph when it comes to organizing. Plus it does make organizing easier, but it doesn't make organizing a thing. Like it doesn't mean with the products you're now organized. Nope, because a lot of the products can become clutter if you're not using them and that is not what we do here. For example, like in the pantry, I'm someone who loves a heavily product pantry because I just love the look, the aesthetically pleasing aspect of an organized pantry with products. And I do know that products does create division. It helps with categories. It also lessens the visible clutter when it comes to packagings, but it is not necessary. So if you're someone who wants to organize your space and you don't care about organizing products or storage containers, you don't need it to get organized and you can get organized without them. Myth number three is you need to be a minimalist. You do not need to be a minimalist. So being a minimalist is a great lifestyle because you're able to live with less, a lot less than most people. And people find happiness in that. I personally like to think of myself as a mini minimalist, if that even makes sense, because I don't have a lot of things, kinda, but, I am definitely not that definition of what a minimalist typically is. I am not that. And I don't want that for myself. I love things. I love to have things. I love to hold on to certain things. And when it comes to minimalism, you typically don't. You only really hold on to things that you love, that you need. And maybe some things you want, but it's usually a certain number and a small number, a small quantity of it. But like I said, you don't need to be a minimalist. You can be an organized person and have a lot of things as long as you have designated spaces for your items, as long as you're able to declutter, you know, a few times a year. And as long as you have order in your space and it makes sense for you and it's functional for you. Literally, that's it. Myth number four is you need to do it all at once. So basically you need to organize your space all at once and then that means you're organized. That's, that's completely false. That's extremely false. You don't need to organize your space all at once. You need to take your time. You need to work in sections. You need to give yourself some time to do it in order to finish. Please do not 
dedicate one day to organize your entire home, you're gonna catch yourself being stressed out, being exhausted, being overwhelmed, and guess what? You won't get it done. Give yourself time. Work in sections. If you wanna organize your home, start in a space that has the least amount of sentimental items, like in a kitchen. Start in the pantry, start in a drawer. Do that, see how you feel at the end. If you wanna continue, you continue. You can time yourself, give yourself 20 minutes to work in a drawer. After 20 minutes, and if you do finish, you're done for the day. And then you could pick up the next day, the next week. If you do feel like continuing to organize your space, then you continue. But don't be hard on yourself and tell yourself that you're going to organize your entire home in one day and think that it's gonna get done. Even organizers can't do it in a day. So pace yourself, work in sections, time yourself, give yourself grace. That's something my husband and I are working on. Give yourself grace. But once you get it done, you'll be happy you did. So myth number five, which is the last myth in this video is you only need to organize to once and you're done. If only it worked that way. <laughs> if you watch my video, you have seen me reorganize my pantry about 10 times, my linen closet about five times, my closet about 50,000 times. I'm constantly reorganizing my space because guess what? My lifestyle changes. I love to organize according to my lifestyle and lifestyle constantly is changing. Well, mine is at least. I just had a baby. So now my kitchen had to change. My bedroom had to change. The bathroom had to change. The storage closet had to change. So many spaces had to change just because a transition in my life. So please don't think because you organized your living room one time and then it got disorganized like months later that you did a horrible job. No, it just means that you weren't maintaining it. You need to maintain your space. That's literally the secret to organizing is maintaining your space. If you continuously maintain your space, then you're not really worrying about your space getting cluttered because you're constantly maintaining it. Or like me, you're completely reorganizing it. <laughs> Again, organizing is not a sprint, it's a marathon. It takes time. You'll be redoing it and redoing it and redoing it and practicing and getting to a point where you feel like you're done. And then guess what? You're not done. It's a lifestyle and I love it here. <laughs> so hopefully this video helped you dispel these myths because all of these myths are not true. They're false. To be honest, there's really no right way to organize or one way to organize. There's different ways to organize. There's different right ways to organize. At the end of the day, it really just depends on you. What makes sense to you? What works in your space? in the space that you share with your family, what's functional for you, what fits your lifestyle. And once you figure that out within time, then being organized becomes an easy thing. But you know what? If you find it very difficult for you to do, you know what you can do? You can hire people like me. <laughs> you can hire professional organizers who can come out and help you get the job done and teach you skills to keep it that way. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you understand a little bit more about organizing and show you that you can also attain an organized space. All right, so as always, thank you so very much for watching this video and like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.